Actually, you guys go ahead, Kurt. Get get the Y by itself on each of those, and then take a look at once you get the Y by itself, then stop. All right, and then see if you got the same as mine. <laughs> um, yeah. You guys can only really hear my voice. You can hear both of yours, but um, when is gonna go up on YouTube? <laughs> That's the entire point. It'll get viral. What's that going to do next? What? Once both are in Y equal. Pass it down. Pass it down. What is his first step? He's got Y1 up. What is he going to put in Y1? He's going to put the Y equal. Alright, so put, everybody put that in Y1. Y equals negative 2 to X plus 26 over 5. Yeah, but the two bits is negative. Yeah, put it in front of the um, back to back, but it won't be any different. Yeah, that's the same thing. Now, in, in uh, you really got one one down? Zach? Well, that's keep going. When you do that, you just pick out right where it says smart view, and you just drag it over a little bit so you can see the next problem. Yeah, it's kind of high. Now put that in Y2. Come on, come on. And don't be clear. Why don't you put um, this your next equation, I get 3x plus 13. Trace. 
on second and trace. Right, so number five, which is intersect. And how many times do you press the answer button? Three. Three times. And then three times. All right, three and four, very good. That's your answer. Put that in, thank you, Jack. That's the bottom one. Um, yeah, no. Now you can switch pens that one more time, so I want you I want you to go one more thing with you guys before I set you free. I want to show you how you check it. Okay, we said the answer is three and four, right? Hey, uh, Jacob, close the book, please. We said the answer is three and four. So the way I want you to check it is by plugging things in. Is that X is three or is it a Y? Three. Okay, so that's an X and the four is a, a Y. So you're gonna plug things in. So wherever there's an X, you're going to put in a, a three. What am I gonna put in place of a Y? Place of X put it a three in place of Y you're gonna put a, a four. You all see that? Now take your calculator through that problem and, and what number are we looking for? Twenty six. If that comes out true, that means that part of the system is a true statement. Everybody do that, please. Make sure it works. So if one works, I'll read it clear. So you have to try the second one. So do the same. You guys do the same thing on the second one on your own. In place of X, you put in a 3. In place of Y, you're going to put a 4. And you should get negative 13. What you do. Alright, so that's going to be a true statement. So I can ask you occasionally to check it going like that. Um, that's just something for you guys to do.